but one of the greatest hitters to ever put the uniform on uh, will lead us off here at 10.05 on this Friday, February the 16th. Justin Smoke from a golf course near you has been kind enough to lend us a couple of couple of minutes before he tees it off this morning. What's up, brother? What's up, man? <laughs> All right. Well, I know that you won't be here for opening day, so I'll just ask you: How's the swing feeling this morning? Are you are you loose? Uh, I'm not I'm not loose yet, but they've got um they've got something in the clubhouse for that. Yeah, it's it's called vodka, right? <laughs> uh, look, man, we're not going to keep you long, um, but but certainly appreciate your time, Justin. Of course, has said almost every big bopper record you could set at South Carolina. There is a kid here, though, who's going to try to hunt you down. He did take one of them last year, Ethan Petri, uh, who broke your freshman home run record. He ended up hitting 23. You've seen him hit. What do you think about him? I think he's a good player, man. I mean, you know, it, you see guys and guys jump out there and they, you know, they they do well for a little while. And, you know, what I and, – and, and I watch from afar just through video and – you know, highlights and stuff like that. But the biggest thing with him is, you know, you can tell when somebody's got it when everything looks easy. And, you know, he's a big kid, and it's not like he's trying to do it. It's just kind of effortless, and it's it's actually pretty easy for him. I remember when you went from your – you got better and better and better and better, I mean, which some people, you know, they, they, they call it a sophomore slump, right? You didn't have one of those. But, like, do you remember entering opening day your sophomore year of college, which was which was 2007, versus entering your day, uh, opening day, your freshman year, like compare and contrast, how much more comfortable you were as a player. Oh yeah, you're way more comfortable as a freshman. You just really don't know, you know. I mean, I knew from the get go I was going to play as a freshman and I was going to play every day, and you know, but you still really don't know what to expect, and and um, you know, especially when you get like into the SEC games, you know, playing playing big time teams against big time competition. And, you know, as a freshman, you just don't know that. I mean, you don't, don't really know what to expect. And as a sophomore, you just kind of, you know, you're a little more relaxed, you know, but at the same time, I mean, there's some pressure there. I mean, you know, and, and that's something some of these guys are going to have to, to figure out, you know, is, you know, how to, you know, adjust when they're not getting pitched to or hey you might only get one pitch in a bat to hit and you got to hit it and so you know that's something that you know ho ho hopefully he can do it i'm sure he can and you know hopefully there's not an adjustment period but you know there as well could be all right so you i know you were in town uh, up here just a couple of days ago spending time with the staff and, and the team and things like that um for those that wonder this program when you play in it it never leaves you, and Justin is Gamecock baseball forever and ever and ever. Uh, he, he, he breathes it like everybody else does. W one of the things, though, that will that when you walked in a couple of days ago, you got to see somebody that I know you adore, and that's, that's Monty Lee. Um, give our audience a little bit of insight into what makes him special. I think the biggest thing with Monty is, you know, he – he's really good at relating to players and you know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to find that. I mean, you know, it's, you know, and, and I'm not around it as much today as I was back then, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's hard to find guys. I mean, you know, these coaches in college sports now have so much pressure on them. I mean, you got to win. If you don't win, you're gone. And, you know, there's not a time where, you know, Hey, I, I might have a, five-year deal but you go bad in first year and a half two you're you could be gone right and so you know something with Monty that I think he brings is you know kind of that blue collar toughness aspect of it and you know that's something that you know and I talked to you know the hitters um Tuesday and and my biggest thing to them was you know you got all this video, you got all these cameras, you got all this stuff, all these analytics, now even in college baseball, which is crazy to me, but you know, a lot of times you forget to compete. And you know, that's that's number one goal is to compete. I mean, you know, you start thinking about yourself, you're done. I mean, everything's out the window. And and so I, you know, my, my biggest thing to them was just, you know, do your work when you, you know, in the cage and whatever you want to do, but when, when it's game time, you got to compete your butt off. Yeah, it's uh, it, that's something that 
he's definitely about. We all know how tough Monty is and, and you know, his history, who he is, how he got to where he is. We'll let you run on this note. Um, a couple, a couple of, couple of quick, quick boppers for you here. Do you have a, I don't even know if we've ever talked about this ever. Um, do you have like a favorite home run that you ever hit? You hit 63 of them at South Carolina as a, I mean, I, I know you've got some in the big leagues and are open today. One of, one of your big ones was a walk off when you played in Toronto, but in South Carolina, is there one that stands out more than the others? Is it the one off Vaughn at Clemson? I mean, <laughs> I think I think every home run against Clemson is, it means something, right? I mean, I don't care if you're beating them by ten runs or beating them by one run. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the five home runs in a row in the Super Regional were pretty cool. I mean, that's something that you don't expect to happen. Um, you know, but they didn't mean nothing. We lost, right? So, I mean, but um. Yeah. But, yeah, I think, I mean, probably, you know, I'd say a lot of those home runs against Clemson and two of them, of course, came off one of my best friends, the guy that was in my wedding, which, yeah, I mean, nothing gets better than that, right? Yeah, that that I remember your wedding well, and uh, that was discussed plenty there. And uh, mm-hmm. he, he, he lost that conversation every time <laughs> it was had. Um, we'll never which, win that conversation. No, and that ball still hasn't landed nope. from, what I, from what I heard. Um what would what would you what would you say here on opening day uh, to to this team and uh, to Gamecock fans? You know everybody wants to see this team back in Omaha, smoke and and you know how hard it is to get to Omaha. Of all people, that group that 06, 07, 08 group was a special group, and and still couldn't get there. Um, it's really difficult. So what would you say to Gamecock fans and, and and to this team who's set to take the field today? Well, I think the biggest thing for them is, you know, they had a great year last year, a year that honestly, you know, probably really wasn't expected, right? And so, you know, I think what I would tell them is, you know, in, in this sport, in this game, and 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 what we do now, it's, you know, you you still got to grind. You can't show up and you know just go out there and strut around like a turkey and think it's just going to happen. And, you know, it's, you know, in this business, it's what have you done for me lately? And, you know, that's something that, you know, I think needs to be, you know, a big thing for those guys so they can, you know, just keep their head down and keep grinding and, you know, look up at the end and see what happens. Don't just expect it to happen. Well, hit them straight, my man. I know later on this afternoon you'll be checking in on the Gamecocks as they'll play at 4 o'clock and uh, your tee time's at 1020, so you should be done by that. I don't know whose money you're planning to take today, but God bless that soul. And uh, everybody's, everybody's. <laughs> hey, I'll see you soon, dude. Thanks for thanks for leading us off, and um, give Kristen a hug for me. All right, man. See you. Thanks. Later, brother.